Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stuart Ivan and welcome to episode 3 of my Summer Punk TEW 2020 booking series. Obviously we're three episodes in of this very exciting save. Obviously we done Raw last week, obviously if you want to watch that, please there will be a link there somewhere up there if you want to have a watch. Um, so yeah, so obviously in this edition we're going to a lot of big changes as well. Obviously we've got, would it be, we've got we're obviously Smackdown, obviously Christian attacked the ref, would it be a consequence to that? A lot of changes happening, a lot of big matches happening and then we've got a big tag team match in the main event obviously so excited to show you what i've got for this smackdown uh if you like if you want to keep in touch you make sure you don't miss anything please like and subscribe that really appreciate the description if you did well if you just go in the description below and press link there if you had to help subscribe or i think there's a button on the side of this video you can do as well so if you would like if you like that'd be great subscribe would be great if you want to put a comment that'd be also great i look forward to seeing what you think of this save so far because i'm really excited to show you what I've got. So yes, yeah, so obviously, so yes, yeah, so that's without further ado, let's get stuck into this SmackDown save, and we start in the ring with Christian, who is not happy with um, with what happened at Money in the Bank, and wants and um, wants um, a world title shot tonight. So yes, yeah, so we start off this edition of SmackDown with an 87. Obviously, we start off with um, Christian in the ring. I kind of like the idea. Of Christian's like not happy with what happened at Money in the Bank. I like the idea. Of basically, sitting in the ring saying, "I was cheated." I should have won that match. Everything's on my side, but crooked referee and corruption in this company not wanting me to be world champion. No more. Tonight, I'm going to have my world title shot, and I'm not going to leave this ring until I get it. So obviously, we go to commercial break. Christian comes in. Uh, Christian's still sitting there, basically. And then obviously, we, yeah, and all of a sudden, everyone's like booing him and all that. And then Triple H comes out. Everyone's kind of shocked. Like, why is Triple H here? And um, kind of like that, it's Triple H is, um, gets the mic and he looks like, get your ass up. And Christian kind of like gets up and all looks shocked. I should fire your ass for what you're doing. Well, and what you did to that ref. And what you're doing right now. But I didn't come to SmackDown to sort you out. I came here for an announcement. I came here to announce that SmackDown's getting a new GM. And Christian, you might know him very, very well. So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome the new SmackDown GM. And that is, you think you know me, dun, dun, yeah. Edge is your new GM. Yes, I'm making Edge SmackDown GM. Makes sense, gives him something to do. And obviously it's an interesting story there with Christian, so look, look out for that. So yeah, so Edge comes out, shakes Triple H hand, walks back, Triple H gets out of the wing, and then Edge just get, gets on the mic and just looks disappointed with Christian. I gave you that opportunity. I gave you that world title. Take my place in that world title ladder match. You won. And look what you did. You lost it on the first night. And then ever since then, it's just been moan after moan, moaning about everything. I, I mean, I used to do that, but I used to be the rated R superstar. Christian, what are you? You've done nothing. So that's one of the reasons I took the job. Because I wanted to, you know, here to help my buddy, you know, become a better, you know, better. But also to the, to learn from my lessons. So you want to work. So with that being said, you want a title match tonight. Okay, you have to earn it. So tonight there's going to be a match between you and Randy Orton, but not a singles match, not a world title match. It's going to be a tag team match, and the stipulation is going to be: if you win, if you win, you get your world title shot against Randy Orton at SummerSlam. But if Randy Orton wins. You can't have a world title shot as long as he is champion. So it's all. So you have your opportunity. The question, but I've I've talked to the people backstage. You're not liked, Christian. People don't like you backstage. So if Randy's going to be. Though I don't see Randy having a problem finding a partner. But you, I think you've got big problems tonight, buddy. But I mean, even even if you don't find a partner, it's going to be in two on one. This match is happening in the main event. So it's going to be interesting. So tag team. Tag team, tag team, a tag team match tonight, and it's going to be Christian and Randy Orton. Who's going to be their partners? We don't know. Let's find out later on in the night. So, 87, vague hot start to the show. It's about exactly what I wanted, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, obviously, after that, we go backstage. Obviously, Edge's duties GM is um, far from over tonight. Obviously, as he goes backstage after commercial break and sees Ted DiBiase and Tyson Kidd having an altercation backstage. And wants to use his aggression to kind of, you know, they don't want this aggression backstage. He wants to use his aggression in the ring and kind of sets up a match for 66 there. Very happy with that. 
Very good. I like. Um, so yeah. So I said he's just basically seen his backstage. Both want to say like I'm the best. No, you're no. I'm the best. No, I'm the best. And then sees this and goes, nah. Okay, you both. You will both want to go out there and prove you're the best. Go out there and prove it in the ring. And you're both in your wrestling gear, so you're obviously up for a fight. So, go, so that match is next. So yeah. So 66 there. Very happy with that. So obviously the first match of this SmackDown edition. Of and who's going to win with Tyson Kidd or is it going to be Ted DiBiase? Let's find out. For a 64, Tyson Kidd wins with a cold blue. 62 by T uh, Tyson Kidd. A 57 by Ted DiBiase. 64, good stuff. I've got big plans, Ted DiBiase, as well as Tyson Kidd. So I look forward to showing you what it's all about later, uh, later on this, in this um, series. But 64, happy with that. Good start to the show. Very good stuff. Everything's really going well. So obviously after that we go backstage to Mark Henry, um, who is um, talking about being interviewed. Why did he do what he did to the Big Show? And he has some strong words to kind of give warning to the SmackDown locker room for a 62. And um, yeah, so obviously Mark Henry's talking about how you know he did it because I'm the world's strongest man. I can do what hell I like. And recently I haven't been doing that. And this time I, I took out uh, Big Show because. Because I, because I can, because I can. So, what I say to that is, uh, no one's gonna stop me. No one's gonna. I'm taking over this. This. I'm gonna. No, I'm taking over this locker. I'm taking over this company. No one's gonna stop me. I can do whatever I like. Sin Cara hears this, resents this, gives him a look, saying, "Oh, okay. You want you want to fight me? Oh, right, okay." And obviously sets out. He said, "Get your ass in the ring. Let's fight this out in the ring." And kind of sets up this match. There's next. Obviously, we're going to set up a match. Mark Henry, Sin Cara, who's going to win? Let's be honest, we all know who, but let's find out if I might have a bit of a curveball. We don't know. Let's find out. So, the winner of this match is for 45, is obviously Mark Henry. Um, 60, 68 by Mark Henry, a 73. I said, oh, bloody hell. This game's been really harsh here. Uh, Sin Cara, 73. Put 73 performance, but only gets a 45 for the segment. Very bad there. Five minute quick match just to sit there and show Mark Henry. How dominant he is. Dominant victory here for the world's strongest man. With a world's strongest slam on Sin Cara. But he's not hes not done proving his point. And obviously uh, after the match he takes Sin Cara. Keeps beating him down. Attacking him. Takes him up to, uh, to stage. And then hits. Lifts him up into a gorilla press. And throws him off the stage for a 77. Wow. That segment's done really well there. Um, so yes, yeah, so this segment's not what it says there, but basically um, you've got um, t was it Mark Henry getting the win, but he attacks him, beats him, beats him down, throws him off the stage. You know the medical staff checking on Sin Cara, he's out for a while. Mark Henry looks strong, everything's going right here. This is what the segment's supposed to be. Mark Henry is unstoppable. Who's going to stop him? We'll find that in the next couple of weeks. So obviously after that we go backstage, and obviously the women's obviously with all this new era, obviously the women, a lot of women backstage are seeing where this new opportunity relates to the women's division and obviously we've got AJ Lee and Caitlin talking backstage for a 40 54 very good for the women's division that's actually doing better scores than I expected um I hope to get better scores in the future that's the plan but obviously AJ Lee and Caitlin obviously friends talking about how we're excited that AJ is now GM obviously want to see and obviously they um want to they they, they, they you see they heard these words of land opportunity and kind of like want to prove tonight or how good they actually really are. Edge overhears this and is kind of um, very impressed by the like, kind of go to attitude and say, You want an opportunity tonight? You've got it. But obviously, Alicia Fox hears that and says, Comes into the segment and goes, Oh, right, okay, she can just ask what happened. And they'll say, Okay, you want AJ? You want your want opportunity as well? Okay, what about you two? AJ, you fake, you, you get in the ring. Alicia Fox, you get in the ring. You, you go ahead and face off against you. Prove to me why. Why you two are probably the best women's division, women wrestlers out there. So, next match. AJ Lee, Alicia Fox. Who's going to win? For 41. Very impressed by that. Very good. Shining Wizard by AJ Lee. For a 41. Very good there. We've got AJ Lee with 30. Alicia Fox with 40. 41. It's actually gone above the highest score performance. That's done, that's done way better than I expected. 41. Very good there. AJ Lee gets to win. You know, has a little bit of momentum. Could you put maybe go and challenge for the Wadivi Championship? We don't know. We just don't know. But obviously, in the week, a couple of weeks, we'll find out. So obviously, that's a good one there. Obviously, then we go backstage. Obviously, Randy Orton 
he's looking for he's looking for his partner to face Christian tonight and I think he's found it with the Smackdown Money in the Bank winner in Daniel Bryan for a 75 very good segment there obviously but Daniel Bryan's got a good uh, public support obviously he was quite hot at this point obviously before he got even more hot in 2014 um, with the obviously yes movement but yes obviously Randy Orson I wanted this one um, talking about is impressed by his money in the bank uh, victory and obviously he's um, Randy Orton's like I'm watching you I'm watching you because I know you I know you're taking opportunity tonight but I know at the moment you hate Christian just as more for what he's, uh, he's for a guy because he Randy Orton basically knows that Danny Bryan's basically a workhorse Christian is sort of as well but obviously um, he's, um, opportunities he's gone from a lot of crying and moaning and Danny Bryan doesn't like that he likes to earn these opportunities and obviously Money in the Bank was um, victory was that so um, obviously he says that to him and Danny Bryan's like yeah I agree when I kick that smile off Christian's face and destroy him tonight um, um, but um, I'll part you tonight but I'll give you a warning if I ever see any opportunity to take that word title off you I will just to give him a little warning a little taste that you might cash in maybe tonight maybe in a couple weeks maybe in a couple months we don't know but yes obviously for 75 very good there obviously after that we go to the ring and obviously the Usos are in, in, in tag team action next obviously uh, the Obviously, they, sent, they got sent that message to the formerly known as New Nexus um, on Raw. Obviously, attacking them from behind, getting and, and so they've got to watch their back tonight. And obviously, but they've got to prove that they're even worthy of maybe chanting for the tag team championships. And they face off in a match against two people you might know very well. Uh, and let's find out if they get a victory here. So for a 41, not surprising. That's actually good. That's actually really good. Obviously got a 40 by Jay, Jimmy, 42, Adrian English got a 14. Very disappointed about that, but after we could sort of put him in stuff in the future. And then 41 by, we've got Bake, uh, Bateman, but obviously we know it's EC3. Uh, but obviously they're obviously debuting a new gimmick and it's not going so well. Um, so yeah, so everything's going good. The crowd's not really into this match, but it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a match to put you, so it's looking good. Uh, so 41, actually good there. Um, but yes, yeah, so obviously good stuff. Obviously... You saw the got um, all on, on fire at the moment. So, but obviously they're watching their, but was they're trying to watch their back. But uh, too little, too late because just when they're just celebrating their victory, the new Nexus, Marco McGillie Kelly and David Tanga do get their revenge. Come, uh, same thing the Usos did on Raw. What was it climb for the crowd and attack the Usos from behind for 53? Um, yeah, good stuff here. Um, yeah, so basically it's a beat down. Obviously, then after the call was it's good to uh, escort them out of the building, but the, the work has been done. Messi's has been sent. Shot fired on both sides. Can't be having this. Something's got to change here. So, um, yeah, obviously, we'll find out about maybe a more on SmackDown next week. But, um, yes, obviously, I booked this, apparently, literally and figuratively. And it, it didn't, I'm not a very good role agent. What a surprise. But, um, yeah, good stuff. A lot of greens. Good segment, 43. For the, for the tag team division in 2010, that's clever and that's pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Obviously, after that, we go back to Christian. He's been trying to find a partner all night, and I think he's finally found it in Cody Rhodes for 77. Um, yep, so this one's kind of a situation Christian's kind of playing on Cody's kind of ability to... He keeps failing. He keeps failing. He can't, he can't win the big one. He can't make the opportunity to make him live up to his name of Cody Rhodes. Um, kind of playing on the idea that he knows that Randy Orton, he hates Randy Orton. He obviously despises Danny Bryan for what he did at West, uh, West Money in the Bank. So he's sitting there, he's, he's basically going to Christian and saying, join me. Join me. And we can try and finally take out these guys and finally take the opportunities that are rightfully ours. For 77, C Cody Rhodes is swayed by these words. Accepts the challenge and accepts the partnership. And tonight we have our tag team partners. We have a tag team, ta we have a tag team match. Christian Cody Worlds, Randy Orton, Danny Bryan, who's going to win? We'll find out soon enough. But we've got one more thing to get through before that. Is obviously we've got we've got the Intercontinental Champion in the ring. Um, was it, it seems like um, he's taking the land of opportunity line to heart that Edge put early in the night and is in the ring right now for a 70. Very good there by Roy Barrett. Um, he is basically in the ring saying, like, basically, yeah, land of opportunity because no one's taking this title for me. I'm going to be a, that IC title reign, the championship reign record. I'm going to beat it because no one's taking this title for me. But 
don't sit there and say I'm a man that's not doesn't give the, um, the the little people opportunity. So tonight, I'm gonna have an open challenge. Anyone in the back, come out, face me, and if a little catch, if you can beat me in ten minutes, you get a chance to face me for this Intercontinental Championship whenever you like. But if you don't, you don't. But can you beat me in ten minutes? We'll find out right now. So obviously we get to the ring. We obviously I don't want. Uh, obviously we I don't want to know who's gonna come out. So obviously we get to the ring, wait for the match, and who's gonna be face? And is he gonna? Is this challenge you're gonna win, or is way back gonna win again? Let's find out. Four A, sixty five. Very good there. Yes, it was Trent Bretta. Obviously Trent Bretta. Not the was Trent. Um, AEW now. But so you know sixty nine by Way Barrett. A forty five by Trent Bretta. Very happy with that. 65, obviously a bit lower, but he's not expecting anything too crazy. But yes, obviously Trent, obviously the way back is the victory here. It's just good. Um, obviously just beat just be him 7.50 minutes, so it's like two, three minutes before the 10 minute clock. Uh, so yeah, so I just want to, this, this segment's kind of just set up what we're going to do in the next couple of weeks on SmackDown with the Open Charities with Wade Barrett. I know it's not, this the Open Charities has been done to death, but I think with this, Wade Barrett, and it could set up some interesting storylines, um, build up some momentum and obviously all, whoever beats him um, is going to be the um, was it very very favourite to take the Icy title for him so it's an interesting thing so uh, yeah so obviously Trent Beretta there so obviously before we get to the main event we're going to hear from the World Heavyweight Champion and Daniel Bryan kind of put it, laying down the markers of what, what they want to happen to this match tonight against Christian and Cody Rhodes for a 77 again very good it's good, but Danny Bryan's kind of getting all the greens here. Very good, I like about this. But um, yes, talking about the upcoming tag team match. Talking about how tonight's going to be the end of Christian and his moaning. It's going to be the end. You choose Christian, he chose Cody Rhodes. I mean, a man that's always, I, I know that man very well. And I know that he's a man that never lives up to his potential. Same as Christian, always moaning, complaining. It's always somebody else's fault. Tonight, the moaning stops for both men. And tonight, me. And Danny Bryan are going to take him out. And obviously, why Danny Bryan's doing this, he's kind of Danny Bryan's kind of looking at the world title he's in his hands and kind of like teasing that as well a bit more. But uh, yes, obviously, Randy Orton, Danny Bryan going against Christian and Cody Wold. Who's going to get the win? Who's going to get the victory? Who's going to, is Christian going to get his world title shot or is Randy Orton going to have to find another opponent to face him at SummerSlam? We'll find out now. Right now. 4 A. 74. Yes, Christian gets the victory here, and he uses it by a bit of cheating by holding using the ropes for leverage on Danny Bryan. Um, yes, obviously this one I wanted to be like Christian's not going to get a clean victory here, because um, obviously I, I do want to set up a rematch between Randy Orton and Christian, but I didn't want to do it by just giving him it or just like a straight victory. So a tainted win here, but um, but yes, obviously good scores here. Seventy three by Christian out for everyone here. Out, as the old saying goes, outworking everyone. They got a 63 by Cody. You got a 66 by um, Dan. Uh, was it Randy Orton? Not doing so well tonight. Uh, and then 67 by Daniel Bryan. Um, yeah, Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan don't don't work well as a team. Uh, not surprising. Not too bothered by that. But obviously Christian and Cody Rhodes did well, so it's not totally terrible. But yes, obviously this one was obviously you got Christian. With a nice little roll up and using all its leverage for a quick victory, and he gets his opportunity against Christian, against Randy Orton at SummerSlam. Find out where that goes. But yes, yeah, so Christian's earned his shot tonight, and we end. Okay, William Wing is very happy with that. Good for him. Um, but obviously, we end with a um, Edge is not happy, basically. When 86 is not happy with what how Christian's done this. And there's going to be consequences to this. Yes, he won. The, he does own that shot. But he cheated against Danny Bryan. And um, oof, against Randy Orton. So I've got a feeling it's not going to end well for him next week. We'll find out what, what Edge has in store for Christian next week. But an 86, great way to end the show. I'm pretty happy with the show. I've been pretty happy. So that should get a high score. Surely it's got a good segment. If we're not getting similar 71s, 72s, I'll be shocked. So let's find out. Let's see what this first edition of SmackDown of this Summer Punk save is. Let's find out. A 74. Very good. I'm happy with that. Very good. Obviously, a lot of the, um, was it a lot of, when you look at this thing, we've got a lot of segments getting 60s. Obviously, the open one, a lot of 87s. Yeah, segments done well. 
I think the main event's probably the best one, obviously with a 70... This is 70, yeah, no, 74, very good there. Got 77s. Yeah, a lot of greens, even the women's stuff, getting a very good, like, you know, 54s and 40s. That's good start, good score to start off with. So, no, like, 30s or anything. So, we're good. Very happy with that. Obviously, 74, great start. Great start for this series. Like, you know, 71 for um, the Raw with the uh, new CM Raw. And on SmackDown, 74. Hopefully, it's the start of many good scores to come. But that's yeah, so I'm very happy. 74, very happy with that score. So yeah, 74, I'm pretty happy with that. Very happy with all the segments, to be fair. I mean, you got edge, edge segments, so basically any, anything he was in was boosting everyone up. He had a lot of 80, I think the 80s in both the opening and closing this edition of the show. Very good. Uh, the main event got a good like 74. Very happy with that as well. Women's division, the Divas matches done well. Uh, tag team matches done well. That segment, the building up nice, quite nicely. And obviously, the, um, was it? Uh, way Barrett segments done well as well, so it just everything just really worked. It was a very short, solid show, and I was really happy with it. So um, yes, yeah, so obviously that SmackDown. I've got big plans for SmackDown, so that be this SmackDown will be back in two weeks. Obviously, when we get when we see what happens with with Edge consequences for how the main event ended. So um, but yes, yeah, so obviously we're gonna go back to War next week. Obviously, a lot of big stuff there. Obviously, we've got uh, another two quarterfinal matches of the new WWE Tag uh, Championship tournament to find who's gonna be the new champion after Punk has left. So we've got two matches there, so make sure you don't want to miss that. So, um, uh, so please like and subscribe. I don't have more to say. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this edition, my this video. And yes, yeah, so um, hope uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I've been Stuart Van, and I'll be back next week with Monday Night Raw. So I hope I see you guys there. So have a good rest of your week, everyone, or rest of the weekend, whenever you watch this. Bye, everyone. See you, everyone. Bye. -bye.